How's it going, guys? I'm back here playing some of my favorite deck, actually. It is the Simic Flash running the Nissa and running uh, some Hydro Crasis's Paradise Druid, you know, the ramp package. Um, I feel this is just better than the other just straightforward Flash, uh, Simic Flash deck because you actually have uh, ways of just outright just beating your opponent down um it's been an, an enjoyable time playing it actually and i'm not a huge fan of like this style of deck usually but it actually has been one of the more enjoyable decks for me to play i am not a uh sacrifice player i actually don't like the sacrifice route um i will most likely be trying to do some of the new I would, I would like to call it Dredge from uh, the next set with a lot of the green preview cards that we've gotten. Uh, I think it'd be really good, especially with some of the already, some of the already um, reanimate things we have currently in standard. So uh, we've got two lands here. We've got Girl Spiral, got some Disruption here and Quench and Negate, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. Um, yeah, uh, I am Igneum. I've been playing Magic, say, roughly six years now. Um, I'm pr fairly new to it. My actual first time coming into it was when Theros was actually a brand new set. So going back to Theros is like going back to when I first started the game. So it's extremely enjoyable. Um, I am an IRL commander player. Uh, we don't do much standard around where I am. Uh, we just don't have the community for it. And, yeah, I just... So, Standard is a different take for me. It's a different beast. I don't play Modern. I would love to play Pioneer. And, but, once again, just don't really have the, uh... The player base around the area to do it. I wish we did. I wish I had a closer game store, but, you know, it happens. So, he's just buffing up, getting some card draw, playing some Rimrock... Looking pretty bleak, but I still got some... I don't know. I might be able to do this, but we'll have to see what happens. It's usually the aggro decks that really... That aren't the best for me. I'm thinking I should have probably, you know... Uh, quenched the Rimrock, to be think about it. But I think we might still be okay here. Um... How do I want to do this? So, no matter what, I'm taking, what, five next turn? If I don't do anything here. The question is, do I want to shock this in? So I can have, like, a double quench next turn? Or maybe what I can do is do this, this, and then play a quench next turn, debating if they do. Because I'm actually okay with this jumping that. That's actually really okay with me, because he won't uh, he won't attack with the innkeepers. Okay, oh he will attack with the innkeepers. Mm. I think I have to block there, take less damage, and then that's where the nate gate comes in handy. All right, so yeah, we played that well. I'm actually happy with how we did that. Uh, now we need a land, preferably an untapped land, so I don't eat up as much. Okay, well, I have to get Nissa out on the board, so like I have to get Nissa out, and we'll just swing in with the breeding pool. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, so I'm super excited for Theros Beyond Death coming out. The, the previews have been super sick. Uh, I do have some cards pre-ordered on here already, so I'm going to be excited and ready for the next set. So, I will be down to play whatever. I'm excited. Just can't wait. This standard format has gotten super stale for me, personally. And it's just... He's swinging. Um, assuming he has another Embercleave, right? You have another Ember Cleave. Let's see it. Yeah. 
He's looking. By the way he's acting, he has another Ember Cleave in his hand. He has a Colossus. Um, not much I can get around that one. I can make him waste the mana for it. So he can't play anything else. Which I think I might just have to do. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to make him waste the mana for it. And Nissa will be down to one. But not dead. Let's see what he does here. See how aggro this person wants to be. But, um... Yeah, if you guys would like to see me play anything, I can build any deck possible. So, I will do some requests if you just let me know what I do. Oh, this is that I did my math wrong. Okay. Oh. Uh, Alright, we're just going to swing here. Now, the question is... I think I can grow Spiral. Alright, and in turn... I want to keep the quench up for whatever he plays here. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited. Let's try to figure out what he does here. Not much I can do here. I'm just going to let that resolve. I'm okay with that. Let him let that resolve. Yeah, not having the, uh... Alright, he has, uh... Something he can play. Take a buff. What do you have? Bone Crusher. Frill Mystic that. Okay, he didn't have anything else. That's fine. He still has the edge wall, Paradise Druid, that's fine too. Um, and another Paradise Druid, okay. Uh, another Night Pack Ambusher. So, I'm just gonna actually gonna swing him with the... I hate that, that, that bugs me. That's always bugged me with this client. Um, so I'm just gonna go in and swing in. I do have a Night Pack Ambusher. So I should be okay. So we'll see what he does here. Okay, so we're gonna resolve, pass. I'm okay with that dying. I think I'd much rather have that go here and that go there. Another edge wall and keeper. Good. Okay. That's fine for me. There's a land. I'm gonna swing in with my land again. And now I think I should have this game in the bag. The only problem I might have is maybe an Ember Cleave. I don't know what. He, I don't know much about this uh, Gruel Adventures deck. Yeah, he's gonna bone crush your giant me. Alright, that's fine. Okay. Um What do I do here? I think I bone I think I quench that, right? Cause I can still get my other night pack ambusher out. Okay, there's a land now he has another Oh do I does he have a shock or something? Oh, he has another Bone Crusher Giant. Alright. That's a good game. Dang. He top duck extremely well there. Um. Yeah, I'm thinking there could have been something else I could have done there. But. I don't know. If you saw anything, just let me know. Otherwise, I didn't really see anything. I could have messed it up. I'm going to play, what, two more games, depending on how these games go. And, yeah. It's my skin here. 
Uh, this is a non-key. The Aether Gust is fine, but it's very targeted. Um, but yeah, no green mana, and that's not good. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. And I think I actually... What do I pitch here? What do I pitch here? Do I pitch the Krasis? I think I pitched the Krasis. Alright, we're fine with that. Uh, we'll lead it off with... A Fabled Passage. This lane's so good. I mean, I... I remember when this came out, I know a lot of people were saying, Oh, it's just another crappy land, but it's really not. It's, it's an extremely great land. Uh, so we will grab our forest. Alright, and we'll play that. So we can grow Spiral on his turn. I think I'm up against another Simic deck, so this will be interesting. Teamer. Alright, so Lucky Clover. Okay, so it's uh, another... We're going to enter tapped. That's fine, you can have that. Alright, so we do have Nissa next turn. And we will have Nightpack Ambusher at the end of his turn. Uh, yeah. I mean, we're not going to get the Wolf on our turn, but that's okay with getting Nissa. I mean, I'd much rather have Nissa. Edgewall Innkeeper. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to just get rid of the Edgewall. He might have a counter for mine. But that's okay. Um... Hmm. Don't think I need the land. Let's see if he plays anything else. No. Alright, so he's keeping, I think, counter magic open. So I'm just thinking Nissa gets countered here. Okay. Alright, she hits. We're gonna forest here. He has something. He's holding priority for something. Just don't know what. Brazen Borrower, maybe? Uh, yeah. Could be Brazen Borrower. Bounce both my Nissa and my Forest. Or Bone Crusher. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, too. Yeah, Brazen Borrower and the Teamer uh, Clover decks are pretty obnoxious. And right now I'm just extremely low on cards, so maybe keeping the Krasis would have been the better choice. I don't know. If you guys know, just let me know. <laughs> I've always been a terrible mulligan person. So, let's see what we get here. Alright, so there's a Krasis. I think I'm just going to Krasis here. Uh, we're going to do that. And then we're going to Krasis 4-4. Four, four. Alright, now we're keeping the Breeding Pool back for the Quench. Uh, see what he plays because he might actually just play a land here and then play the beanstalk giant which i'm okay with countering i got three nine pack ambushers like what is this yeah and this is a big big problem she's so good so good okay there's his land What might he have? Agent of Treachery? I don't know if that's in those decks. That's a big play. Um, he just might run a lot of Lucky Clover and just, like, ramp up. See what he does here. Brazen Borrower. Um, yeah, I'm going to make him pay the mana for it. That's okay with me. It's okay with me having him pay the mana for it. Did 
Did he mess up? Did he mess up the triggers? Oh, return target non-land. Okay, he didn't mess up. You know, he did mess up. It's just, yeah, he read it wrong. So he's going to attack bone, cr bone Crusher. And then I can see him. Nope. Okay, he's just going to surrender. I don't know. I don't think I was in a very good position there. I think he would have been just fine. Um, yeah. Yeah, it says Silver Tier 2. I only just fell short of plat. I didn't try very hard, but I'm going to try with when the new season comes. Or when the next set comes. But otherwise, I just have around quite a bit. And what do we have here? Okay. That's actually a really good commander card right here. It's extremely good. Um, but yeah. So, we will go and play one more game. And then, yeah, if you... If you guys enjoyed this, let me know. If there's any specific decks, obviously just let me know and I'll build whatever. And we can just have some fun. Also, I do play Brawl on Wednesday, so I'll probably get a couple Brawl gameplays. Um, yeah, Alayla is good. I like her for Commander. I just don't know how I feel about her yet for um, Brawl. Brawl, I feel, has a lot of hate. And that's a big problem. For a lot of things. Alright, for a champion here. Um, forest. But. But yeah, for my. Mm, I'm gonna quench that. I am not gonna have another Furban champion out. He's gonna probably not have a third one. I mean, I'm used to it. Okay, Knight of Even Legion. That may have been the one to counter. But. We're gonna do the Castle Vantress. So we can keep the Sinister Ab up. Because he's an aggro deck, so he wants to keep going. He's not paying the mana for the night. He is paying the mana for the night. Is he? Means he can't do anything to turn. Nope. Okay, so he has something he wants to do. Potentially. So I'm just going to probably counter that, depending on how important it is. Interesting. Interesting how he didn't do anything there. Kind of worries me a bit. Okay, so he has a Black Lance Paragon. Um, that's okay. Because then I can just Brazen Borrow the Knight of Even Legion back to his hand next turn. Like, I could... I don't want to eat up damage necessarily. Maybe I am going to have to eat up the damage. So that'd be 5, 6. Put me down to 9. Got to land. I can Nissa next turn. I can Brazen Borrow at the end of his turn. Yeah. I'll just eat the damage right now. Then I'll Knight of Even Legion. I'll Brazen Borrow or the Knight back at the end of his turn. It's going to get the counter, but I'm going to remove the... All right, there's another one. Okay, this is a little bit more of a problem. Just the one big problem with this deck is if you don't have the early disruption, it's just rough. I don't need the land here. And the Rotting Gunster. All right, I think I just lose here. Yeah, I just lose here. No matter what I do, I just lose here. Um, five, six, maybe not. I wish one of these was a breeding pool. Yeah, I have one here, but I didn't want to take damage for it. I don't know. I don't think I can actually win this game. It's a tough one. Yeah, because he can just buff. Yeah, I just lose anyway. We're just going to cast it, do some disruption, get a spell in, whatever. But otherwise, yeah, I'll lose that one. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. 
Um, games usually go better than that, but eh. Oh well. It's a rough set of games. Uh, it is an extremely fun deck. It, I still think it is better than the uh, original uh, Cynic Flash deck. So, yeah, if you guys want to go give it a try, if you guys already haven't, uh, here's the deck list. Um, I will probably put it in the description below. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.